Hello, hello you guys. Here we are back again with another video. Today we're going to be trying a new palette from Musée Beauté or Musée Beauty. I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to go off French there. I've never tried this brand, so this is a first impression for not only this palette, but also for the brand. And I've been wanting to try this brand ever since they came out with their first, first palette, uh, which was like the Impressionism palette, I believe. That's what it was called. And their brand is like based on beautiful art, and it's just something I super love. So we're going to be trying this beautiful palette out today look at the artwork there and then it's called Le, Jar Le Jardin Le Jardin I took three years of French you guys that's that's what this is amounting to but came with a plastic sheet which I just dropped on the floor and this is the inside of the palette really really pretty we're gonna go I don't know where we're gonna go today I think I'm gonna do maybe green and pink that sounds fun so yeah if you're interested to see me try this palette then just keep on watching if you like channels that talk about beauty makeup but also movies as well definitely think about subscribing down below this channel i just like to talk about the things i love so that's basically what we're doing here so you might see different topics as well so definitely think about hitting the subscribe button below hitting the like button and without further ado let's get into the video all right you guys so this palette has some mattes some shimmers it's really really pretty like gorgeous i've already primed my eyelids so i'm just going to hop right in with a fluffy brush and i'm going to do like uh kind of like a halo-y eye type of thing. I think that's the right name for it. I'm gonna hop into this green shade called Sor Sorel. I'm trying to say this in a Spanish accent. I'm gonna speak Spanish. Uh, Sore, Sore, maybe, I don't know. So I'm gonna pop into that green shade and pop that onto the outer part of my lid. Patting the, the color on first. Already definitely see the pigment wow it is a bit of powder here some kickback in the pan but not experiencing a whole lot of fallout probably because I'm tapping the brush off that's usually my thing but I want to build up this green color on the two corners of the eye that is so pretty and going to blend it up okay that looks good so far next I'm going to take this green shade basil here and I'm going to actually it is like a shimmer so I'm gonna should I spray it I'm gonna try it without spraying it first I'm gonna put that on the lid part of where the green is not all the way up into the crease like the rest of the green but just on the lid and I think I am going to spray it because it looks okay without spray but I want it to be a little bit more intense and oh yeah that's better oh can't even see what I'm doing can you again taking it spray it on the brush that's what I like to do and then I'm going to place it onto the lid I'm using the same brush just because I like to try to use as few brushes as possible when I'm doing my makeup. Okay, that's a really pretty shimmer, you guys. It's really cute. Okay, that's working. It looks weird right now, but don't worry, we will fix that. Next, I'm gonna take the pink shade. Now this looks like it has some, maybe I should take this red one first. I'm gonna take this like reddish shade here because I feel like that pink it is not a pure matte it's got some shimmer in there but i'm gonna take this red shade it's called carnation right down there and i'm gonna put that in the center between the greens and i'm gonna take it up and then i'm gonna blend a little bit not too much because i feel like red and green won't blend together too much but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some of this pink here called Dahlia, Dahlia, Dahlia. And I'm gonna place that over the top of the red to give it more of a pink. And then Peony, I'm gonna take that in the center and I'm gonna use the same brush. Spray it, and I'm gonna place that all in the center of the lid over that shade. Oh, 
Okay, I'm liking it so far, you guys. Colors have blended together very nicely. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, here I am back with the final look. Excuse my hair, it does not look good, but we're rolling with it. But I'm so happy to have tried this palette out. I like the look I came up with. I didn't do anything to the lower lash line. I kept it simple, kind of in a rush here today, but I'm super excited I finally got to try this brand. I really like the eyeshadow. It came out beautiful. The blending was easy enough and as much blending as I could do. Colors are pretty vibrant and the shimmers are cute. I feel like this is not like the best formula I've ever tried, but for sure I want to try some of their other palettes. I know the first palette they came out with was very much highly loved. So yeah, I'm just glad to have tried this out. I'm excited about this color story. I think it's really cute and I will keep on trying this brand in the future. So far, I like it for just a first impression, you guys, obviously. Got to see how it works throughout the day, all that good stuff as well. So thank you guys so much. Hopefully this is a shorter video, just like a simple, quick first impression. Maybe I'll do another video with this palette. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I will check you guys out in the next one. Stay safe. Adios.